In this module of the Microsoft Teams tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use the calendar option in conjunction with video conferencing in Microsoft Teams. Calendar is one of the key components of Microsoft Teams, and it's very tightly integrated with Microsoft Outlook and your calendar availability in Microsoft Outlook. To go to the calendar, we simply click on calendar on the left, and then on the right-hand side, we the view for the calendar. Now, let's say that we want to add an appointment for sometime next week. So we go here to next week, and let's say on Monday, I simply select the block of time. It will prompt me to enter a title for my meeting. Next, I need to add the team members or the required attendees. So I search for them. It gives me also a status of the, that particular team. And that status is for the time at this point when I'm looking it up. It's not going to be for Monday in this case. If I wanted optional attendees, I can click on this Add button and then add the optional attendees here in the bottom. Then you're picking the time and date, whether you want to repeat this. If this is related to a particular channel, you can include to broadcast this and add this as part of a particular team. Put the meeting details. And then under response options, you can specify to request responses. There are more options here as well, whether you want registration or not. Now, one of the key helpful tools here is also the scheduling assistant. So you'll click on Scheduling Assistant, and this will give us the availability of the staff for these particular days. In this case, it shows as white. Now, these are test accounts, and notice for uh, my account here, notice from 9 to 10 or 9 to 9.30. This time is blocked, so I'm not available at that time. But I can go and change this by dragging this slider to another time, it's giving us the best time for all the team members to meet. Then we press send. And now to see the meeting details, we can go double click in here. They'll also get automatically a link to join via Microsoft Teams. On the right hand side, there will be a tracking option as to who has acknowledged it, the attendance for that particular meeting. There will be a whiteboard option if you plan to use it. Breakout rooms, if you choose to create breakout rooms as part of that meeting. And then questions and answers. Once the meeting starts, you can click here on Join. And that will be using the Microsoft Teams video conferencing solution. You'll click on Join now. And then other members will be able to join via webcams here and control the video and audio from here on the top. Share the screen as well. Under the More options, if you are the organizer of the meeting, you can click here to record the meeting from the bottom. Now, once the meeting has been recorded, the meeting recording will actually show up as part of the meeting details within that time slot at the scheduled time or that entry on your calendar. So we'll go ahead and stop the meeting. We'll stop the recording and then leave the meeting as well assuming that this was the Monday meeting. Now let's suppose that the meeting is over and we uh, go back to the meeting details and we want to look at the recording. To access the recording, we can go here to the meeting details and the meeting recording will be located in two places. We can go here under the chat option and notice we have this option here where it says the recording is available and you can press play or you can go under the Files option and notice there is this meeting recording here. Double click on it and you'll be able to view it. It will most likely prompt you to log into the cloud uh, to your Microsoft account in order to view it. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and then click on the bell icon.